Odd Squad training video number 37, How to Manage Terms of Trade. Hail and well met, agents. Today the Big O has asked me to help establish trade between two kingdoms, the Paper Kingdom and the Cardboard Kingdom. These two kingdoms were recently at war, so I'm going to have to be careful. The Cardboard Kingdom's main export is cardboard, which is great! The Paper Kingdom needs cardboard to help reinforce their paper houses. Now, theoretically, the Paper Kingdom could produce their own cardboard, so why don't they? Well, the Cardboard Kingdom has what's called an absolute advantage. Absolute advantage is that someone can make more of a good or service than someone else in the same amount of time and resources. The Cardboard Kingdom can make 10 sheets of cardboard in 10 minutes with 10 trees, but the Paper Kingdom can only make one sheet of cardboard in 10 minutes with 10 trees. Likewise, the Paper Kingdom's main export is birdhouses. This is perfect for the Cardboard Kingdom, because the Cardboard Kingdom is plagued by an insane amount of birds every day, and they come and they steal the cardboard and terrorize the citizens! The Paper Kingdom can make five birdhouses with ten trees in ten minutes. They have the absolute advantage here. Uh, for reference, the Cardboard Kingdom only makes one birdhouse with ten trees in ten minutes. I need this trade proposal to benefit both sides equally, or else they'll go back to war. Also, the last time I proposed an unfair trade to the Paper Kingdom, they threw paper at me. Ah! I know! Oh, I I didn't want a demonstration! <laughs> The best way for me to do this is to have them trade the amount that they make in the same amount of time with the same amount of resources. The Paper Kingdom makes 5 bird houses with 10 trees in 10 minutes. The Cardboard Kingdom makes 10 sheets of cardboard with 10 trees in 10 minutes. So to make everyone happy, the cost of 5 bird houses should be 10 sheets of cardboard, or 1 bird house should be 2 sheets of cardboard. But what if I want to be extra careful and make sure I've got the right answer? Well, I can check what's called a comparative advantage. When someone has a comparative advantage, they have a lower opportunity cost. Opportunity cost is what someone could have made with the same resources as what they did make. Let's look at a graph. This graph is called a PPC graph. PPC graphs show every possible combination of items made. The line is the maximum amount of output possible. Everything from the line down to zero is also possible, just with less resources or time. The one here shows the number of items made from 10 trees in 10 minutes. The red here represents the Paper Kingdom. If they make zero sheets of cardboard, they can make five birdhouses, and if they make zero birdhouses, they can make one sheet of cardboard. The green represents Cardboard Kingdom. If they make zero sheets of cardboard, they can make one birdhouse. If they make zero birdhouses, they can make ten sheets of cardboard. In order to find the opportunity cost for each kingdom, I'm going to make a table that shows the maximum amount of birdhouses and cardboard per kingdom. Because these two maximum numbers use the same amount of resources, I can put the two items into an equation like this. With this equation, I can now find how many sheets of cardboard are equivalent to birdhouses, and vice versa by isolating what I want to find. Between the two kingdoms, the Paper Kingdom has a lower opportunity cost of birdhouses, with the Paper Kingdom only giving up one-fifth of a sheet, while the Cardboard Kingdom gives up a whole ten sheets. Between the two kingdoms, the Paper Kingdom has a lower opportunity cost of birdhouses, with the Paper Kingdom only giving up one-fifth of a sheet of cardboard, while the Cardboard Kingdom gives up a whole ten sheets. For the sheets of cardboard, Cardboard Kingdom has an opportunity cost of just one-tenth. That's definitely smaller than the Paper Kingdom's opportunity cost of five. A deal for something you want is only really good if it's higher than the opportunity cost of what you're selling, or lower than the opportunity cost of what you're buying. The Paper Kingdom wants to sell their birdhouses for more than one-fifth of a cardboard sheet, and the Cardboard Kingdom wants to buy birdhouses for less than ten sheets of cardboard. Which means, I can very confidently say that one birdhouse for two sheets of cardboard is a good deal. I can also very confidently say that I won't have any more paper thrown at me, or cardboard.